Good morning and a very warm welcome to the Swiss Embassy in Seoul on this beautiful early winter day. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, I cannot receive you in person uh, at the Embassy, but thanks to technical means, I can invite you for a video stroll through the Embassy building. This is my office. I like it very much. I, I, I like to work here. Uh, it has beautiful views uh, outside. You see the Seoul city wall and you see behind also in Wansang where I like to uh, walk from time to time. The new embassy building in Seoul was inaugurated in spring 2019. It is bigger, more functional and more attractive than the old building and it's also much more customer friendly. It's a real pleasure to receive Korean partners and guests in this building and to work with them on our bilateral relations. In building this new embassy, Switzerland pays tributes to the increasing importance of Korea in the international arena and also to the growing significance of our bilateral relations, the growing intensity of our bilateral relations in many fields. As you know, Switzerland is an old friend of Korea. Since 1953, Swiss officers are supervising uh, the uh, DMZ between the two Koreas. In the 1960s, Switzerland recognized Korea and opened diplomatic relations and then uh, through the growing of the Korean economy, Switzerland was adapting and having much more exchanges also with Korea. In all fields, we witness a, a strong development of our bilateral relations, political, but also trade and investment is going up very much. Science and technology cooperation is important for both sides and also cultural exchanges are really increasing very much. Finally, person-to-person -person contacts are important, Korean students going to Switzerland, studying in Switzerland, and more and more also Swiss students coming to Korea, studying in Korea. For tourism, it's the same. Uh, Swiss tourists uh, come more often to Korea, discovering the beauty of the country, but also a big number of Korean uh, tourists were traveling to Switzerland, were traveling, I say, because that was before COVID-19. We hope that after normalization, it will be soon possible again to travel both ways. The new embassy building has quickly become a landmark in the center of Seoul. Many architectural critics, many urbanists, many designers have uh, applauded to it and it has won many awards. In order to show you the beauty of the building, I would suggest that we move uh, to the courtyard, the Madang, where you can see overall how the building is structured. This is the courtyard, the Madang, the central space around which all the different uh, aisles of the buildings are grouped. On this side you have uh, the chancery, we have three floors, all the sections are here, first floor, second floor, third floor. Switzerland Tourism, the tourism promoting agency, is also in this building. We have very convenient big meeting rooms on this side, conference rooms, uh, which make the building uh, really very welcoming. On this side you have the official residence where I entertain official visitors from Korea but also from Switzerland and many foreign guests. And on this corner we have uh, uh, our private flat, the private flat of my family and me. Uh, what is very convenient and a very big privilege is that for going to work, for commuting, I have just to cross the courtyard, which is really uh, very attractive, especially in such a big city as Seoul. You might wonder how Switzerland did launch this new embassy building. Well, it was an open competition, an architectural competition, with more than 60 studios participating. And the project that won had the code name of Swiss Hanok. It was a Swiss studio that won, but they took inspiration from traditional Korean architecture. They studied Korean architecture and traditions, and they built what they think is a modernized version of a Hanok, a Swiss Hanok. As you can see, the building is both modest in materials, but also refined in the architectural language and design. 
From outside you see mainly concrete and the windows and inside it's wood, it's glass and it's stone uh, giving a very welcoming and opening impression from inside. The Madang really is the heart of the building uh, and we use it for big receptions when it, the weather is fine and also for chamber music concerts, for dance performances, for film projections sometimes also. So this is really uh, the heart of the building where we like uh, to interact with Korean audience, uh, audiences and friends. The building not only is functional and beautiful, it is also an environment-friendly green building using geothermal energy uh, for heating and cooling, uh, using solar panels for, en uh, for electricity generation and also water harvesting for minimizing the use of water. So the building really is environment friendly uh, and uh, we pay very uh, low uh, bills to KEPCO and uh, to the waterworks uh, in Seoul, so it really works. When strolling around uh, through this video, you will really see that the building is a hidden gem, a hidden green gem and has not only good looks. I would like to wish you uh, a very nice visit of the Swiss Embassy, enjoy and most importantly stay safe and healthy in these difficult times. All the best to all of you and your families. Thank you very much. Ikosin 이곳은 관저의 다이닝 룸입니다. 여러 스위스식 오찬과 저녁 식사가 이루어지는 곳이고요. 스위스의 현대적인 아름다움과 한국의 고전적인 아름다움을 동시에 선사합니다. 셀수 없이 많은 파이프가 있어서 마치 성당을 연상케 하는 이곳은 최첨단 장비를 갖추고 친환경적인 성격을 띤 대사관의 기계실입니다. 대사관은 지열 에너지를 사용해 난방과 냉방 시스템을 가동시키는데요. 대사관에서 사용하는 전기의 상당 부분은 태양 에너지를 통해 대사관 내에서 자체적으로 생산됩니다. 이 모든 시설에 대한 투자는 스위스가 환경을 얼마나 중요하게 생각하고 있으며 생태 발자국을 줄이는 건 역시 매우 중요하게 생각하고 있다는 사실을 보여준다고 할수 있습니다.